Hey admins, welcome back to this month's edition of What's New for G Suite Admins. Ryan here, and I'm excited to share with you the feature updates for the month of April. Let's get started. Here's the headline news from the month of April. Gmail now has a brand new look on the web, advanced security features, new applications of Google Artificial Intelligence, and even more integrations with other G Suite apps. The all-new Gmail experience is available for businesses to start using today in the G Suite Early Adopter Program and can be turned on on the admin console. With new security features like Gmail Confidential Mode, you can protect sensitive content in your emails by creating expiration dates, revoking previously sent messages, or requiring additional authentication via text message to view an email. We've also redesigned our security warnings within Gmail so that they are simpler to understand and give a clear call to action to your users. These bigger, bolder warnings will help you be even more informed when it comes to potentially risky email. New AI-powered features in Gmail, like nudging, smart reply, and high-priority notifications, can now help you spend more time on work that matters. Most of us get more emails than we can deal with at one time. And sometimes, things slip through the cracks. With nudging, Gmail will proactively remind you to follow up or respond to messages, making sure you don't drop the ball. We redesigned the Gmail web application to help you take action even quicker. Now, you can see and click attachments in your inbox before ever opening a thread. You can also hover over messages to do things like RSVP to a meeting invite, archive an email thread, or snooze an email until the time is right. To learn more about the new Gmail, check out the Help Center. And now, let's take a look at our admin updates. We're updating the interface you use when you manage your organization's users in the admin console. These changes will make it easier to find and control user information and settings, including the new Quick Action panel, category cards that provide more detailed user management, and new license management function. Let's take a look in the admin console. From the home page, click on Users, and then click on a user to show their profile. With the new Quick Actions panel, when you click into an individual user account, you'll see a user information panel, which allows you to quickly see and edit basic information about the user. When you're looking at an individual user, you'll also see cards with summarized information that will give you a quick overview of the most important information in several categories. Click on the cards to view the settings in detail or to quickly edit information related to the user. One of the new cards is a licenses card. This card will help improve visibility and management of licenses within your organization. It features improved license states, separate view mode and edit mode, and improved error handling and messaging. We've also updated the user lists interface in the admin console to make it easier to see, find, and manage users, including improved search and new filters, quick action on users directly from the list, and new ways to manage organizational units, or OUs. The new user list view lets you see users in all or some OUs, search for and filter users, and take actions on specific users. You can find users with filters, download or export filtered lists, use the improved search, and customize your view. You can take quick action on users directly from the list to change individual user info and update multiple users with bulk actions. You can now easily create, move, and manage OUs. With the G Suite directory, users can easily find each other's profile information and learn about one another. Previously, we only allowed one directory per domain, which meant admins could only enable or disable contact visibility for the entire domain and couldn't specify who saw what information. We're now making it possible for admins to cluster users in separate directories with custom visibility rules for each OU. Admins can configure these visibility rules in the admin console by going to Apps, G Suite, Directory, and then clicking Visibility Settings to show the users in a custom directory option. A company might want to give full-time employees access to a global directory, but don't want temps to be able to find full-time employees. For more information, visit the Help Center. For some organizations, whitelisting mobile apps for users isn't critical 
and involves unnecessary time and effort. Therefore, we're giving admins the option to allow their users to install any app in the managed Google Play Store onto their Android devices that are corporate owned or have work profiles. And the app doesn't have to be whitelisted. Admins can select this option in the admin console under device management, app management, and then manage apps for Android devices. By selecting allow all apps, you can still whitelist specific apps. These whitelisted apps will appear on the managed Google Play homepage, but now users will be able to find any app using the search tool. For more information, visit the Help Center. Last summer, we announced improvements to Google Calendar Interop for Microsoft Exchange. We simplified the setup process, introduced detailed logs in the admin console, and made free busy lookups available on mobile and web. To continue enhancing the coexistence of these two systems, admins can opt in to sharing event details when users use Calendar's Find the Time or Outlook's Scheduling Assistant. These details include event title and location, and guest response status. For more information on how to enable these new interop features, check out this Help Center article. In March, we introduced a setting that allows G Suite business, enterprise, and education admins to specify the duration of web sessions for domains where Google is responsible for the login. We're now extending the reach of this setting and making it applicable in the domains that federate to another identity provider using SAML. Please note that these settings apply to all desktop web sessions and some mobile browser sessions. Native mobile apps like Gmail for Android and iOS aren't impacted by these settings. For more information, see the Help Center. Google Drive makes it easy to share files through Gmail, Calendar, and other apps with a feature called Access Checker that will automatically check whether the people you're sending a message to have permissions to view the file. We're updating Access Checker to allow you to see the names or email addresses that don't currently have access to the file in the Access Checker interface. Support files in a team drive and anticipate who needs access to a file and intelligently default to sharing with those recipients only. As an admin, you can control how Access Checker works for your organization. Specifically, you can select the sharing options that are available to your users. You can choose whether your users see the option to share with recipients, your organization, or with anyone, share with recipients or your organization, or share with recipients only. See our Help Center to find out more. Lastly, G Suite Enterprise for Education, a new edition of G Suite for Education that offers additional enterprise-grade capabilities designed for large institutions and customized for education, is now generally available to educational institutions in the United States and is coming to more countries soon. Admins can expect increased security and greater controls with new tools that are being made available over the next few months to the free version of G Suite for Education, including Gmail and Drive Data Loss Prevention and Security Key Management and Enforcement. For educational institutions with administrative needs similar to businesses, G Suite Enterprise for Education offers robust tools customized for education, like advanced controls, enhanced analytics, and search capabilities, and advanced capabilities to collaborate, coordinate, and communicate using Hangouts Meet. Well, that's it for April's updates. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and save the playlists. You can also check out our G Suite release calendar and What's New newsletter to stay informed. And follow the links in the video description to learn more about these updates. This has been Ryan with What's New for G Suite Admins April Edition. Thanks for watching.